Clinical features of emphysema. Number one, airway obstruction is a gradual process. Number two, there are three most common symptoms of COPD are cough, sputum, and dyspnea. In emphysema, on inspection, dyspnea is more than cough. Cough is minimal in dyspnea but is more in chronic bronchitis. Number two, emphysema patient may not have cyanosis at rest, whereas chronic bronchitis patients have cyanosis at rest. Number three, these patients use accessory muscles of respiration. And what are those accessory muscles of respiration? Sternomastoid, scalene, and intercostal muscle. Number four, patient is sitting in a tripod position. Number five, patients have pursed lip breathing. Why do the patient have pursed lip breathing? Patient cannot access expel the inhaled air. Destruction of the elastic tissue causes collapse of the airway on expiration. So patient learns to expire slowly with pursed lip. Number six, they, they have a long narrow barrel shaped chest. Number seven, patients are wasted with diffuse loss of subcutaneous adipose tissue and bitemporal wasting due to, due to what? Inadequate food intake and elevated levels of inflammatory cytokines, tumor necrosis factor and interleukin 8. And number eight, patients are hyperventilating and tachypneic. And number nine, Hoover sign. What's Hoover sign? Inward movement of the rib cage on inspiration is Hoover sign. And why does it occur? It occurs due to hyperinflation and diaphragmatic flattening contraction. What's the effect of hyperinflation on diaphragm? Hyperinflation pushes the diaphragm down and flatten its position, thus hindering rib cage movements and impairing inspiration. The percussion note is hyperresonant and on auscultation, the breath sounds are decreased. There's a bronchial breathing with prolonged expiratory phase and expiratory V. 